Hi, my name is Benita and I have a son named Travis and we are from Austin, Texas. My name is Travis. I am 21 years old. Travis's symptoms were, of course, communication was very poor. He, he never made the milestones. He was a hand flapper and a toe walker and he just, his, his language was not there. Um, and he had sensory overloads, you know, he could not stand loud noises. When he was real young, he, was a, he had behavioral issues. Um, he just, he would run away from school and he would scream. It was just very hard to take him out in public. His social interactions were not typical for a child of his age. Right after Travis was diagnosed, we just did all the plethora of therapies, speech therapy, ABA, occupational therapy, on and on and on. Um, but as all moms probably do, I was constantly searching for new therapies to help my son and other children with autism. Um, I, I came across stem cell therapy again uh, many years later and it was finally being done with, for kids with autism. But at that time, Travis had kind of aged out maybe. He was older and most of the therapies for stem, stem cell therapies were being done with kids who were younger. Um, we finally, uh, I joined a Facebook group of moms with stem cell, about stem cell therapy and autism and the stem cell clinic in Panama just kept coming up over and over and over again. But we applied and we were so thankful that we did and we were accepted. When the doctors first talked to us about his age, you know, it was, it was made, it, it, we were understood that it might not work for him because he's older, but we needed to try it. Because if I didn't try it, I would question myself forever. And I, I had enough hope that there was still something that could help Travis beyond where he was already. So um, thankfully we, we did come and we did try it and I'm so glad that we did. After our, our treatment, we noticed almost immediately uh, Travis became more socially aware. It's almost like he woke up. Um, oftentimes Travis would be in a room with people and he was doing his own thing. It was like he was zoned out. And almost immediately we saw a social, he was aware of other people. Um, his language improved. He, he's always been verbal, but not conversational. And that the strange thing about cells is that he started, um, he was very rigid with his food. He we would go through four foods and then we'd have to repeat because he was very rigid on what he would eat. And he was willing to try new foods. And I wasn't expecting that. It was kind of an a, a extra bonus, if you will. He's less rigid. Um, and interestingly enough, you know, he liked to kind of play by himself. He, you know, didn't have many peers, but now he'll come to us and his, he has a younger sister and he'll say, let's play a game and he'll pull out a game. And, you know, that never happened. Um, and then another thing that Travis is doing now, which is typical for his age, is that he will text and phone people. And before he did not use the, he only used the phone to play games, not, not for what it was meant to do, which was communication. My hobbies that I like was swimming, bowling, and cycling, and building complex Legos, and, and practice piano and cello. And all of these changes have been the last six months of his first treatment. We decided to come again is because we wanted to see how much further this could take him. He's so close to being independent. Um, I don't expect Travis to be cured of autism. He'll always have autism, but we want him to reach his potential, what, whatever that potential is. I remember his first doctor told us, you know, he would be institutionalized and, you know, that's, you know, that's news no parent wants to hear. And to know that he has gained so much and he's, he's been able to do so much more than what that original doctor told us, you know, it's just, it's, it's amazing. And, um, I just, I wish this for every child who has this diagnosis. To parents who have children with the ASD diagnosis, I would say go for it. Um, you don't know if it's going to help unless you try. And I think the, 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 the biggest fear is that it doesn't work. Um, but you, if you don't try, you won't know. And, you know, even little gains are better than no gains. So it, it's, you know, it, Listen to your gut. I think mom's intuitions know what to do. And if your gut's saying try it, try it. You have nothing to lose and it's, it's so well worth it. If I could sum up my experience here, 
The, the only thing I would ask for is I wish I could turn the clock, clock back 10 years when, and have Travis come here when he was younger. I, you know, I often wonder if, you know, would we have seen even more gains with him being a younger patient? But I'm so happy that we found the clinic and that we were able to come and experience it. It has been an amazing journey and we're not done yet. We plan on coming back for more. Um, but it's, it's just been a wonderful experience and everything we hope for has happened and we're, we're still hoping for more gains. It's just been a, a, a life-changing, almost a miracle for us. Thank you and I'll see you after six more months.